This one will be taken near side. Grant out to the 24-yard line, third down. And out of the spread, it's John Parker Wilson. From the backside, the pressure comes. That is only the seventh sack of John Parker Wilson. Vicki Lyons, Jr. awaits the punt at the 33-yard line. Lyons, oh boy, lets it bounce, and it's stopped at the 42-yard line. Maste back to punt. Javier Arenas, who has returned one for a touchdown this year, grabs it and goes right. He's in heavy traffic. Great coverage. Sure was. Nick Walker is number 88. He was uh, found guilty of the of the penalty. Glenn Coffey is the running back. Wow. Hello. Foot race. And Coffey will win it. There was a 15-yard penalty for unnecessary roughness assessed on the extra point. And it places the ball back at the 15, so a chance for good field position now. Alfonso Smith, number 29, does get it out near the 40-yard line. Has gained more yards than any of the four running backs Kentucky uses. Front line out of the backfield. It's caught by Derek Locke, and he goes right near the 48-yard line. He was given weight limits. Were he to be recruited by Alabama, he met every weight reduction goal they gave him. Here's the toss. It's Locke coming left. And that's good for a first down on third and one. On third and six, Hartline got him. Fourth down. Mastay is on to punt. Oh, tough one. Got to catch it. You got to catch that. Whoa. It cost you. McCall, the tight end, goes to the left side. They hand it to Coffey. He wow. follows McCall's block. Big hole. Yeah, past experience tells me. What's Personal that? foul. Face mask. Number 95 on the defense. That penalty is 15 yards to the end of the run. First He's taken a couple. One of 40 yards was called back, and that one just did miss. Here's John Parker Wilson. Left side has his man. That's Nikita Stover, number nine. <laughs> Third down. Hand off to Mark Ingram. Oh, what a cut. What a cut by the freshman running back, Mark Ingram. Lee Tiffin from 35 yards out. Fitzgerald is the holder. Tiffin, 8 of 10, first this year. That one is no, no good. Wow. That, that reminded me of the Arkansas one a couple years ago. Right there for Tiffin. Third and 10. He's on the bench now. Blitz by Alabama. Front line. Whoa, he lost the fumble. It. Picked up. Touchdown, Alabama. Rolando McCain, one bounce. Hartline comes left this time. He's got a man in some room. It's locked. Rashad Johnson makes the tackle up at the 34-yard line. Maste back to punt. And Arenas drifts back. Whoa! Flag is down. This may be interference with the opportunity to make a catch. You know, the Kentucky players look like they, they were coming down like... Kick catch kick interference. Kick. Number 29 on the kicking team. That penalty is 15 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. John Parker Wilson off to a bit of a slow start. Only one of his first five. He'll throw on first down with a lot of time. Deep right side, man wide open. Julio Hunt Jones. Julio Jones. He said he'd experienced everything as a quarterback here. Comes, oh, almost picked off, and then it's grabbed wow, for a wow. completion 
by Nick Walker, the tight end, number 88. Sam Maxwell appeared to have an interception. Third and one, and uh, John oh, Parker Wilson. Up. He's got him. It's Walker, the tight end. Inside the 20. You know, you get to the double syllables, eight-letter words, then right. he has a problem. Here's the toss and a wide open run by Ingram to the 10. Glenn Coffey back in on third down and three. Coffey gets the handoff, comes left, cuts inside. There is a fumble and Kentucky has recovered Robbie McAtee. On fourth down, Maste is on. Yeah, look at the fair catch. Yes. He <laughs> <laughs> that ball hadn't crossed the 30, and Arenas was waving his arm. I think he knows who's in charge. He read Forbes magazine. <laughs> 1929. Ooh, I don't like that. John Parker Wilson nailed all the way back at the 45 of Alabama. Myron Pryor, yeah, guess number who? 98. That's as good a game by a defensive yeah. lineman as he has seen in years. Here's P.J. Fitzgerald with a punt on fourth down. Dickey Lyons Jr. moves up, grabs wow. it. Well, How about the reaction of the crowd? Well, three wide, two to the right, one to the left on third down. Point it's coming. It. Yep. Up the middle, try to set up the screen. Yeah, I was holding. Yes. I was holding. They're yes. going to get it too. Holding. Number 25 on the defense on an eligible receiver doing a legal forward pass, pass play. That penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot and carries an automatic first down. Hartline, only 3 of 11 for 22 yards. He's missed his last five. Across the middle, got this one. This is E.J. Adams, number 17, and he's got a first down. And of course, one-time coordinator with the Browns. Remember that drop pass would have been a first down. Yes. Here's the pooch punter. Beautiful. Ted Lochka. Oh. And you got an unfortunate bounce if you're a Kentucky fan. We were just going to commercial. All right, thank you, Tim. Handoff. Quick opener, left side, all the way out to the nearly the 30-yard line. Glenn Coffey is the running back. Huber is the fullback. Nope, it's uh, McCall. They come left behind McCall's block. He's got yeah. the turn. Got a hold, though. It's a hold. And it's a flag at the 25. Yeah, yes, it's indeed. going to come back. Kentucky had a first down, but uh, a drop pass forced them into a punt. Coffey is still the running back. John Parker Wilson backs up. Goes deep right side. It'll come back out. Wow. Julio Jones. How about the timing on that play? Absolutely beautiful play. At a 23-yard gain, gives uh, Alabama first down. Here's Coffey. Gets the toss and goes right and works his way out near the 50. DeMario Ford is back to return the punt now. Just can't make a mistake catching this punt. you got to be conservative. You're not going to go 80 yards against uh, Alabama anyway. A little pressure applied yep, from the right side. Catch. Yep. Let it go. And it will hop into the end zone. Back at the 30-yard line. Go for the return. Arenas grabs it, breaks the first tackle. Breaks another. Down at the 50 with 12 seconds to go. John Parker Wilson back. Flag, this one will come back, and it should have been intercepted. Shamari Moore, number 23. This, this, uh, I don't quite understand what they're going to do here. If they don't throw deep, oh, they're just going to get out of the half. Yep. Good play. Yeah, I, I think this is a big half for Kentucky, but this game could have been ugly. It could have been 24-0. It's only 14-0. 14 to zip. Maste is on to punt. Return is on all the oh way. Oh, my. What a punt. He boomed it. Arenas drifts back, grabs it at the 11. Sets up the wall, left side. Can he turn the corner? Yes. But pursuit 
gets to him at the 33-yard line. I wanted to make certain that everybody understood he was role-playing then. He was so concerned about the controversy <laughs> of that role that he cleared it with his coach, Rich Brooks, and Rich Brooks gave him two thumbs up. Yep. Pass deep. Jones, it's intercepted. Yep, it is. Picked off by Marcus McClinton, number two. Eighth punt. Eighth punt, he said. Adroitly. Here's the kick. Oh, it's another good one by Maste. Arena's all the way back at the 24. Nice tackle. Sure was. Fitzgerald is the punter. Lions at the 23 yard line. Nice and high. Deep kick. Lions with a chance to return it. <laughs> He's such a gamer, isn't he? Arenas is back at the 33. Another good one. Arenas. Oh, with a fair catch call. And it went off of Arenas, who got it. Yeah. Kentucky got it. Special teams were a serious problem for Alabama last week in Georgia. And Arenas has not had a banner day with his decision making. No surprise in the formation. Alabama was ready for this. Three That's receivers, one back. Lions goes right. On fourth down. Part line. He's not that much of a runner, and he's going to come up short. Third down and eight. John Parker Wilson, left side man. Covered side play. Julio Jones. He is something special. He is. Flag down. It might be offensive pass interference, though. That's kind of football right there. But remember, the flag came That's off the Kentucky bench. On the offense, number eight. That's the offense, 15 yards. From the previous spot, replay third down. Next up, Washington. Losers of six in a row. They play Arizona later this afternoon in Tucson. Burn. All right, Tim, here is the punt, and DeMario Ford is back, makes the fair catch at the 30-yard line. Yeah, that's going to be an illegal fair catch signal, I guarantee you. Hard line chased again, and is there a flag? Nope, no. no. Oh, late and off that bench again. Yes, indeed. Pass to the fair. On the defense. First down and 10 after the ninth Alabama penalty. Little screen pass inside, and Locke has some room and some speed. Yep. Had the jersey from behind. That's 36 yard gain, Hartline. Same play the other way. Dickie Lyons, absolutely. Is he in? Yes. yes, touchdown, Kentucky. Football player Dickie Lyons, great calls by Kentucky. 14-7 with 4.46 to go in the third. This time a little more legitimate fair catch yeah, call. Right. <laughs> At least he got his arm above yeah, his shoulder. That's right. It wasn't very long, but he did it. Hard line deep down the middle. Almost oh, picked off, and it's caught. My. Wow, I thought Rashad Johnson was going to get the ball, and instead, Grinter gets a first down at the 44-yard line. Hard line, deep left side, double coverage, Kareem Jackson with the interception. They tried a gimmick play, and Alabama was ready for it. On the turnover, first and 10, Alabama, they lead it 14-7. Here's the draw play to Coffey. Nice run. Vern, why I said the safety made that play. I know Jackson intercepted it. Coffee. First down. Alabama. And we go back to spend a moment with Tim Brando in New York. Yet I, yet I think Kentucky's defense is holding their own here. I agree. Don't you think? Yeah, I not? sure do. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Overs. Yeah. <laughs> On the ground, this is Ingram, and he gets down to the 25. Best offensive set for Alabama in this half. Jim McElwain, the new offensive coordinator, working with John Parker. 
underlined that same emotion that he brings to this game. Sometimes too emotional. Beautiful Whoops. defense. Yes, it was. That was David Jones, the cornerback, number seven. I don't think so. Nope. Boy, this, this has been a clinic on how to keep another team in the game so far, don't you think? Third and six, Kentucky two of 13 on third down conversions, and yet they trail by seven. Hardline lets it go. Dickey Lyons has the catch. It's first down. They'll get together at the end of the season here this year. Auburn has defeated Alabama six times in a row. It's a good punter. This kid can punt, I'll tell you. Maste, Arenas with the fair catch, and he grabs it at the 17-yard line. That's a 37-yard punt. Jim McElwain grew up in Missoula, Montana. He was a quarterback at Eastern Washington in the early 80s from Cheney, uh, in Cheney, Washington. That pass complete left side. That is John Parker Wilson's first completion of the second half. That's a gain of 14, first down at the 33. Here's Coffey. Nice cut. And he goes up the middle to the 37-yard line. Next carry for Coffey will be his 20th. It's 30 short. He gets it. And he gets the first down out to the 45-yard line. That's an amazing stat. First down. Well, he's got 25 coaches. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a lower percentage than most people. <laughs> he's eight and a half men in the box now. When are they going to go play action pass? Not yet. Coffee, close to the first down. Let's go to Tim Brando for this Heisman watch presented by Nissan. Huber is number 40. Coffee goes the other way, spins and got it. He got it with a spin move. He was stopped momentarily. He was. And Gary references one of the great games we saw last year, and that was LSU's win over Florida, 28-24, in which Les Miles went for a first down and fourth down five times and successfully converted all five. Coffee. Fumble. Out of bounds at the one. Oh, my. Interesting that the ball goes back to the 12 now, which allows Alabama to get a first down. A couple of tough years to start when he took over six years ago. Two and nine, two and nine. Thoughts he would be fired. There's up church. A flag is down. See if this is uh, before the snap. Let's see what happens here. If it's an Alabama penalty. Offside. Number 95. Oh. On the defense. That penalty is half the distance to the goal. Replay third down. Oh. Mm. Third and one at the three. And the running back is Upchurch. John Parker Wilson under center. Gives it to Upchurch. Goes over right tackle. And uh, appears close for a first and goal. I think he's got it. I may not look happy, but I am. Yeah, well, I don't think he is today. Which no. short. 0 for 2 in the ball game. Not that I'm rooting against Kentucky, but for Tiffin. He needed that. Yeah, he did. Hartline at quarterback with 204 remaining. Handoff. This is lot number 20. Let's just think about our conversation on Tuesday with uh, Wednesday with Rich Brooks. Tennessee's physical enough on defense to play him just like this, like Kentucky. That'll be a tough one for him. Part line, Dickey Lyons. First down and out of bounds. Part line, caught by Locke. That's another first down. My, my impression of Alabama, I, I was somewhat surprised that they came up this fast this year. Doesn't mean he won't come through down the line, but in this game, if that is kind of what everybody in this conference thinks is the weak point. Oh, man, look at this. Wow. Ford, touchdown, Kentucky. Demario Ford, the junior, 48-yard pass and catch. It is Sieber who will kick off.
Champ championships, you just don't roll into a championship pretty every week. This is just the way it is. Now remember, two weeks, a team very similar to Kentucky, Ole Miss comes in here with a very strong front four, very similar to this Kentucky team. Now you could hear Nick Saban congratulating Rich Brooks. 17-14 is the final. As Alabama hangs on, they rolled out to an early 14-0 lead, appeared very much in command, but Kentucky very resilient throughout the game and get back to within three. Now it's time for the five-star play of the game presented by Wrangler with the call. Here's Eli Gold of the Alabama Radio Network. Bama leads 7-0. Shotgun Hartline loses the ball. It is picked up by Alabama. Taken in by Rolando McClain. Touchdown! Touchdown! That made it 14-0. John Parker Wilson, very modest numbers today. He wound up 7 of 17 for 106 yards. The star for Alabama, Coffee with 218 yards on 25 carries. 17-14.